In Australia, if you were to go to a pub and ask someone what their favourite footy team is, you could get very different answers depending on which state you were in. And no, I don't mean different teams in the same league. I mean you could get different answers of teams in different leagues entirely. And I am of course talking about the AFL-NRL divide, which splits Australia into two sides based on loyalty to a particular sporting code, the Australian Rules Football or Rugby League. These areas are separated by what is referred to as the Barassi Line, the area to the south and west being AFL territory, while the area to the east is NRL territory. This is unique as there is no dividing line separating American football from basketball or any such divides elsewhere in the world. The closest to this is the north-south divide of rugby league and union in England. However, the Barassi Line divides two of Australia's most popular sports with AFL fans hating NRL and vice versa. They're bum sniffers, that's bum what I reckon. You've got three boys, you play AFL, you have three daughters. Oh. Generally, in New South Wales, Queensland and the ACT, rugby league as well as union is more popular, whereas elsewhere, AFL is the dominant sport. Interestingly, there are no geographic divides between cricket, soccer or basketball in Australia. The Barassi line was first mentioned by historian Ian Turner in his 1978 Ron Barassi Memorial Lecture. He noted the stark difference in Australia's football culture, with the country divided by sporting loyalty. Turner's lectures were named after Ron Barassi Sr, who played Aussie rules football for Melbourne in the Victorian Football League before being enlisted to fight in World War II and subsequently dying in Tobruk. His son, Ron Barassi, would become a star player for Melbourne and Carlton and later a premiership coach and he was a strong advocate for Aussie rules expansion into New South Wales and Queensland to become the dominant sport across all of Australia as after all, it was Australia's indigenous sport. The term Barassi line would be adopted to mark the barrier between the rugby league dominant New South Wales and Queensland and the rest of the country where Aussie rules football was popular. This line does vary as it marks the ACT as the border as Australian rules football has been popular alongside rugby league in the Riverina region of New South Wales as well as Broken Hill to the west of the state. Therefore, there are variations in the line. So, how did this divide occur? To understand this, we must understand the origins of these sports in Australia, which begin with the formation of Australian Rules Football, which was formerly known as Victorian Rules Football, invented by Tom Wills as a way of keeping cricketers fit during winter. This spread throughout Victoria and into other states, where it would become very popular in South Australia, Western Australia and Tasmania, as well as what would become the Northern Territory. So what happened to the sport in New South Wales and Queensland? Although it's spread there, it's important to remember that New South Wales and Victoria have always had a rivalry when it comes to anything, as these were and still are the two largest states. Journalists in Sydney began to show their discontent for a game that was invented in Victoria, arguing that they should play the old English game of rugby football instead. It's also important to note that the geography of Australia's two largest cities played an important role in the spread of the football codes. Melbourne is a relatively flat city, which meant that inner city clubs sprang up and were almost instantly strong. Sydney, on the other hand, is a city shaped by rivers, peninsulas and mountains which meant that the spread of footy was much slower. As a result, the strength of the game was much weaker in New South Wales than in Victoria, which led to the discontent that they were outmuscled by their colonial rivals. In Queensland, a growing dispute between the Victorian Association and its rugby union members led to the independent school headmasters to vote on whether they should adopt Victorian rules or rugby. This vote occurred in 1887, with rugby winning by just one vote. This stunted the growth of Victorian or Australian rules football, with rugby union and later league becoming dominant in Queensland. Why did this happen? Well, in the late 1880s, the influx of Victorian migration was slowly replaced with migrants from New South Wales and the British Isles, who preferred the rugby codes. Although closer proximity of Queensland to New South Wales rather than Victoria greatly influenced this decision. The ACT is an interesting case as for a long time, both Aussie rules football and rugby football were equally popular due to its location between Melbourne and Sydney as a buffer zone. Aussie rules was actually more popular at one point due to the influence of Victorians, 
However, the New South Wales Rugby League decision to expand into Canberra through the Canberra Raiders made rugby league the more popular sport where it remains today. So, has the Barassi line changed? Well, in 1982, the BFL's South Melbourne Swans relocated to Sydney as a result of financial struggles, which led to the creation of the Sydney Swans and the first Aussie Rules football team outside of Victoria and outside of the Barassi line. A team in Brisbane shortly followed, and today there are AFL teams on the Gold Coast and in Western Sydney, as you may have seen in this video. The NRL, National Rugby League, only have one team across the Barassi line in the Melbourne Storm, who were created in 1997 and have gone on to become very successful in the league. Today, I would say that although this line very much divides Australia's sporting loyalty, in my home state of Tasmania, for instance, despite an AFL team of its own, AFL is still vastly more popular than the NRL, and AFL has become part of the state's identity. As to how this line has changed, I would argue that due to its wider coverage and stats across membership and popularity, AFL is more popular in Australia overall, partly due to its greater success of the AFL across the Barassi line and increased the popularity of Aussie rules in New South Wales and Queensland. The AFL is more popular in Sydney and Brisbane than the NRL would be in Melbourne, due to greater investment from the AFL compared to the NRL, but things may change in the future, with rumours of a potential NRL team in Perth, which would mark another team to cross the Barassi line. Although both sporting codes are always looking to outcompete each other for national dominance, the Barassi line remains as a great divider of sporting loyalty, with both sports still creating a tribal following in their respective sides of the line. Let me know in the comments if you're an AFL fan or an NRL fan, and where you live. Do you follow the code on the other side of the Barassi line, or do you hate that other sport? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.